bitch! Flagstones, your breath stirs the dust. Who are you who walk this hall in the flesh? In life, I was Keladon, first captain of the Company of the Westering Sun. In death, I am nothing. The dead have no titles. You stand within the Hall of Remembrance. I am one of its many prisoners, all soldiers of the Westering Sun, all fallen in battle, all slain by treachery. Our spirits are shackled to the walls and shadows of this tower. We are doomed to stand, to remember, and to wait for Elrith's release, and our own. Who is Eldrin? Time has passed, I see, for how many names to have been ground beneath time's heel. Have you not heard of Eldrith the Betrayer, the Traitress of Swords, Eldrith of the Westering Sun? That she has been forgotten is irony of a sort. Eldrith was one of the greatest generals of the Sword Coast, commander of the Company of the Westering Sun, sworn sword and defender of Baldur's Gate. She served with honor and distinction in the first and last seasons of the Sundering War, the Crescent Port Siege, and finally, the campaign against the Black Horde. In all these battles, she was victorious. Where she led, we followed. Glory drew us, loyalty kept us, and we were proud to serve beneath her banner. Our lives were hers, and our deaths were hers. I do not know when pride burrowed into her heart, but it poisoned her. It was a poison I did not see until it was too late. Eldrith had fought too many battles, achieved too many victories, and she had come to see the city of Baldur's Gate as her own. On the day of the Great Betrayal, and the last day of the campaign against the Black Horde, I left my wife within the walls of Baldur's Gate, where she would be safe, and told her I would return. She was one of the most beautiful elven maids I have ever known. There are times when I feel as if I hear her singing for me still, waiting for my return. Then I fear her spirit shall never be laid to rest while I am trapped here. My wife, to think that she suffers still, and for my sake. Our company took the field against the Horde, and scattered them, even though the orcs and goblins outnumbered us five to one. Still, in the rout, almost half their forces survived and fled the field. Eldrith was determined to pursue them. The Dukes of Baldur's Gate refused. Too many good soldiers had been lost, the Dukes told us. They and the people wanted no more of blood and death and they felt the Horde would not return. Eldrith was furious. Even though we had lost many men, she felt it was better we deal a death blow to the Horde and ensure they never threaten Baldur's Gate again. And so she defied the Dukes and led us to our deaths. Already weakened, we chanced upon one of the straggling bands of the Horde and cornered them within the Dosias Cleft. It 
Hawk's tactical brilliance in trapping them within the canyon. But in doing so, we gave them no choice but to fight us. Backed into a corner, the Horde proved more vicious than we had anticipated. Eldrith, fearing of losing the field, sent a messenger back to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements before the Horde broke free of her trap. The reinforcements never came, and the Horde overran us. Eldrith survived. I survived. Many of the Company of the Westering Sun did not. Now there are many graves within the Dosias Cleft. And much of the ground there is strewn with bones of our soldiers, mixed with the orcs and goblinoids. Eldrith became a thing, a creature consumed by fury. Wounded, she returned to Baldur's Gate to demand an audience with the dukes. Instead, she was met at the gates, and told that for her disobedience upon the battlefield, the walls of Baldur's Gate would be forever closed to her and the Westering Sun. Eldrith, she gathered us, all of us who remained, all of us who had sworn to serve her, and she ordered our broken company to attack the walls of her city. She swore she would take it from the Dukes, make it hers, and put the Dukes to the sword. It would be justice, she said. Justice. It was suicide. We were slain almost to the man, and we were driven from the city, hounded by the remaining troops of Baldur's Gate. We knew no rest, no peace, and they pursued us for leagues upon leagues, all the way to the marsh of Chalimber. They feared Eldrith's wrath so greatly that they were determined that she should not escape alive. I died here in the marsh of Chalimber, and so did all that remained of the company of the Westering Sun. Eldrith was the last to die, brought low by crossbowmen and archers, men who feared to come within reach of her sword. Even against death, Eldrith's fury prevailed. Now she lives again, a creature of terrible power and terrible anger. In her eyes, she sees nothing but Baldur's Gate in flames. You will find her at the top of this tower, at her watch, waiting for battle. She knows you are here, and she has attempted to seal you within this hall, as the stones of the Onyx Tower obey her will. But even as she is the mistress of the tower, our spirits are part of the tower as well. I shall allow the stones of this hall to part, so that you may reach her, and I pray, kill her for the last time. She is past the point of reason. She has become a creature of vengeance, and battle is all she understands now. Even in life, she was prideful and stubborn. Now, vengeance has made her heart a stone. I pray the gods favor you. If not, then I fear no one shall be able to stop her. Eldrith's will is tied to the tower. Surely you know that when she is slain, this tower will die as well. It will fall into the elemental plane of fire and be consumed. You cannot escape this tower while she lives, and not after she is dead. Can you not use the way you entered to escape? The tower itself touches many places, other planes of existence, even creates gates to them. Perhaps there is some manner by which these gates may be used to escape. But I do not know. She is a creature of death now. Great powers are hers to command. If you go to face her, then you must be ready in both mind and body. Take your greatest weapons, arm your mightiest spells, that is all the advice I can offer you. Be careful should you choose to lock steel with her. Eldrith was one of the greatest swordsmen ever known, and hers is a murderous will. 
Be careful you do not approach within striking distance of her blade, or the battle shall be over for you. Still, Eldred has given much of herself and her spirit to this tower so she could command it. Perhaps you may find strength to defeat her by turning this link against her. If this tower is linked to her, then a blade forged from the walls of this tower and constructed on the Black Forge may be your greatest weapon. I wish that we could. We are trapped here in this hall and cannot leave. We will pray for you, stranger, as we pray for all Baldur's Gate. God's watch over you. Baldur's Gate once again hound me, and all the way to my sanctuary this time, though it lies a horizon's distance from their walls. Can it be they fear me that much? They have that much wisdom, at least. Surrender! I who had best of death. I have nothing to fear from you, or Baldur's Gate. I served Baldur's Gate with all of my first life, only to be repaid with betrayal. They cost me a battle, the lives of my soldiers, and my reputation. Now I am but a sentence or two in the Sage's book. A footnote, forever a traitor. Now you dare to invade my fortress, demand my surrender? I shall not bend my knee to you or them, ever. An eternity may die before I would ever consider showing them mercy. As I died, they shall die, alone, betrayed, and forever cursed. Then you shall die. I command this tower. I command all within it. All your small victories, all the damage you caused, can be undone. Know that as long as I stand, the war against Baldur's Gate shall continue, and I shall be victorious. You may hold the field, dog, but the day is mine. Now, let us end this.
And so it has come to pass that I shall die twice. And this second time shall be the last. I... The tower will not hold. You must leave this place. I ask your forgiveness. I... Let anger cloud my vision. I harmed those who had sworn to serve me. In all these things, great harm has been done. Let Baldur's Gate have its peace. I shall not rise again to challenge it. Though it will doubtless need others such as you to defend it from others that wish it harm. Now, leave me to die. This tower shall be my tomb. flash of the portal's light, Eldrith's tower was no more. Lightning rained upon the tower, and flames as if from within. And thus, in a storm of fire and lightning, Eldrith died her second death. But it was all part of a much larger design. It is done. Eldrith is undone. And her threat to us and our plans has been ended. And the harper that defeated her, killed. Now we may continue without interference, Master. Where did the portal lead? It led to a far distant land, far from Baldur's Gate, far from the Sunset Mountains, far from the Marsh of Chalimber, and far from safety. But that is a tale for another time.